We're here at the Chesapeake Division of National Technical Systems located in Bell Camp, Maryland. Uh, here at NTS Chesapeake, we focus on three main business lines of testing commodities, uh, the first of which is ballistic testing of ballistic resistant materials, uh, also to include ammunition, munition, and firearm testing. The second business line uh, is related to sports and mechanical equipment testing, and the third is uh, related to failure analysis and non-destructive inspection using CT scanning and x-ray techniques. All testing was performed at our Chesapeake facility in Bell Camp, Maryland in an indoor climate controlled range. All of our ranges are NIJ approved. Uh, all the equipment used was calibrated per NIST standards. Uh, some of the equipment that we used to conduct this testing included uh, Doppler radar to measure the projectile velocity, high-speed video cameras to help characterize the impact performance of the projectile, uh, in addition, all testing was performed with a live firearm. Um, in this case, a Glock 17 9mm was used. Um, the round that was used to fire out of the firearm was a Spear Gold Dot Hollow Point 124 grain plus P 9mm round. Uh, the device was uh, fitted to the end of the firearm device as it would be in a real world application for all shots. When Alternative Ballistics reached out to us initially, they indicated a need for performance testing of the alternative and we helped them assess the testing um, options and helped uh, advise on the most applicable testing for their product. The first test that we performed was in accordance with ASTM method E3276. Uh, this method is intended to evaluate the impact energy and precision of non-lethal devices. Uh, this required us to measure the velocity of the projectile at various distances uh, to calculate the resultant impact energy at those distances and to measure the accuracy of the device at those distances. Hot! For the ASTM testing that we conducted, we tested in two scenarios, one with the target at 21 feet and one with the target at 32 feet. Uh, the CEP for the target at 21 feet was 3.3 inches, and the CEP for the target at 32 feet was 4.5 inches. The CEP is defined as the diameter of a circle centered about the mean X and Y impact values whose boundary is predicted to include 90% of the projectile impact locations for the same testing parameters and setup. The second test that we performed was a series of gelatin tests in which we covered the gelatin with a skin simulant and evaluated the penetration characteristics of this device.
After each shot during the penetration assessment testing, uh, we would measure the laceration lengths and characteristics of the uh, laceration on the foam and the chamois material that was covering the gelatin. While at the same time, we also measured the impact velocity and resultant impact energy for each shot. The third test that we performed was in accordance with NIJ 0101.06, which is the current industry standard for NIJ law enforcement body armor. Uh, in this test, we tested uh, various clothing materials, which were strapped to a clay backing. Uh, the clay backing was in accordance with the NIJ performance standard. Um, for testing to this method, uh, the clay is required to be calibrated. Um, after the clay is calibrated, it's valid for use for a period of 45 minutes in which the testing was conducted. Good. Good. Following each shot, uh, the clay was evaluated to see uh, if the projectile penetrated the clothing material, and if not, the deformation that was left into the clay backing as a result of the material stopped in the projectile. What my team and I observed during the testing is that when the bullet was fired from the handgun, the bullet would uh, uh, embed into the projectile of the alternative, and then that combined system would travel downrange and impact the target of interest. When we first saw the device, we were unsure of how it worked and how it would perform under testing scenarios. Uh, but after working through a day and a half of testing, uh, it was very accurate at distances of 21 and 32 feet. Uh, the velocity was very consistent um, you know, for each shot. Uh, now that testing has been concluded, we'll collaborate with our colleagues at NTS Dana Point to analyze the data, uh, to draw any conclusions that are, that are there for us, and we will uh, issue a final report to Alternative Ballistics.